But let's take a trip to Kenya. About a month ago, uh, sports events were cancelled, but this stirred up controversy, especially in the Kenyan Premier League, as Gormaya were declared champions. We'll be speaking with Babu Biko, uh, who will be joining us via Skype to speak more on this, and he's a sports enthusiast and also a TV producer uh, over there in Kenya. I mean, all leagues are across the world, M major leagues have been shut down and we're beginning to ease into football again. And of course, the Bundesliga has restarted. Belarus, I do not know. Um, in Pigeon, they'll say which kind of drill they use. I don't know what they're doing over there, but the league is still going on. Nothing has affected the league. And in you know, some other leagues that they've declared champions, like in Scotland, Celtic have been declared champions. No hassles. In Belgium, um, Club Bruges have been declared champions. No hassles. In France, yes, the government has said no sports until September. And Paris Saint-Germain have been declared champions. But some clubs are willing to go to court to um, challenge this. But there's a lot of controversy in the Kenyan Football League. And I'm wondering, why can't we have something done straight? Probably all clubs should just come together and agree, reach a midpoint. You know, for most of those countries and most of those leagues whereby they already cancelled it, majorly was spurred on by the governments who already made particular decisions about it. And um, that's concerning sports generally in the country. And then for some other leagues, it was quite easy to make those decisions because mm. the champions were already clear. And um, just declaring those people, declaring those clubs champions was probably just the best decision mm. because those leagues are probably more straightforward than the yeah. Premier League, obviously, as we see it. So, but talking about the Kenyan Premier League, I believe the one major issue that they have, which is similar to the English Premier League, mm. is unison among the yeah. team members. And um, when you don't have, when you don't have the same views, it's quite difficult for you to come to a certain standpoint. Mm. So, I mean, there is a situation whereby. Club officials need to actually speak to each other. They need to see how they can benefit from each other. Mm -hmm. Whichever decision that they eventually come to at the end of the day, they need to know that, okay, I'll benefit from this, you will benefit from this. Let us come together and let us just say, this. okay, this mm -hmm. is what we want and this is what we need to do going forward. Mm -hmm. All right, we have our Kenyan uh, correspondent over there, a sports enthusiast and also a TV producer talking about Babu Biko. Good to have you live with us this morning. Hi, uh, good to have Good to be on the show. Yeah. Um, tell us, how is the pandemic handled over there in Kenya so far? Um, uh, so far, we have seen a uh, controlled, uh, a sort of controlled way uh, that the government is handling the pandemic. Uh, we see the numbers uh, slowly rising, of course, affecting, as everybody in the world is uh, currently facing, it's affecting the economy, it's affecting sports. Uh, you know, hospitals are overwhelmed. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, uh, fear among people, but uh, so far so good. And uh, as we have seen in China, if China is slowly reopening, we hope that in the next couple of months, uh, Kenya and probably the rest of the world will also reopen. Hmm. All right, let's talk about um, the Kenyan Football League, the Premier League. Um, we hear that Gormai have been awarded as champions of the league, but there's a bit of controversy in the announcement. Well, how would you respond to this? Um, uh, first of all, just uh, perhaps to give the viewers a bit of a gist of what happened, okay. uh, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, the uh, FKF chairperson, that's the Football Kenya Federation chairperson, Nick Mwendo, uh, went on Twitter and, uh, you know, just declared Gormahia as uh, champions. Mm -hmm. And then he also said that uh, Nairobi City Stars, which is coming now from the Kenyan Second uh, Division or the National Super League, uh, have been promoted. And uh, a lot of people wondered what was happening because even the KPL itself, the Kenyan Premier League, put out a statement saying that uh, they had not authorized this, uh, that there were no discussions about this. And they said that they were looking for ways to finish uh, the season. But Nick Mwendwa, of course, uh, continued with, uh, with his post on Twitter. And uh, he said that the bylaws uh, that uh, were set in place uh, to guide the season uh, should be enforced. So he said, uh, since we have played uh, slightly over 75% of, of, of the games and Gormahia was leading at the time, then uh, they should be declared champions. And for a lot of people, because Gormahia has a massive following in Kenya, for a lot of people this came as good news. But of course, uh, lower clubs like uh, Chemilil Sugar, who have actually taken Nick Mwendwa to court over that decision, uh, continue to wonder how the systematic or rather the system itself uh, is failing the Kenyan sports uh, industry. Now, do you think there'll be an overturn on this announcement with Gormaya being the champions? 
Um, so far, I do not uh, see this happening. Uh, of course, uh, we have been advised not to really discuss the matter mm. between uh, Chemilil Sugar and uh, Nick Mwendwa and KPL because it is still a matter that is in court. Yeah. But Gormahia itself has been dominant uh, in the past couple of uh, seasons. Uh, currently, even as we go, even as the season uh, is being cancelled, Gormahia was leading uh, by around eight points. Okay. Uh, the closest competitor was Kakamega Homeboys, uh, who have around 43 points, if I'm not wrong. Gormahia were soaring above uh, 54 or 55 points and i do not think that uh, they will be able to overturn perhaps the only decision that can happen though it's a very it's a very small window for them the only decision that can happen is that no team is relegated mm. terminal sugar have really put up a really good fight uh, despite them being at the bottom of the table and if you see the teams that are above it they can actually catch up and be able to beat them. So I think they might consider not relegating anyone, but of course, politics continues to play out. There's a lot of miscommunication. So just the next couple of days, probably the next couple of weeks, once they have their sitting, we'll be able to know uh, what goes on. All right, uh, thank you very much for speaking with us. Uh, we really do not have much time on our side, but I see you sporting a Liverpool jersey. So let me give you 30 seconds to respond to this. If the EPL season is cancelled. As a Liverpool fan, would you accept this decision? That's if the EPL gets cancelled. <laughs> I don't think um, we cannot. We cannot accept that. Mm. Come on, man. Uh, we are about two two games away from winning. There is absolutely no way anyone is catching up with us. So, mm. if if they cancel the season, uh, there might be a bit of rioting. Uh, not only in Kenya, but all over the world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, I guess we'll get to talk about this on an another day, uh, focus more on the EPL and all that. But thank you very much for speaking with us today. Thank you. All right, Liverpool fans will not take it mm -hmm. if the season gets cancelled and say there might just be a riot all over the world. I just hope that doesn't happen.